Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a special tower reading, a new moon tower reading for my cancers. There will be a new moon on the 26th of February and it will actually be a new moon in Pisces and this will fall for you my beautiful cancers in your ninth house. And the ninth house is about belief, it's about spirituality, it's about um, uh, media, it's about writing, publishing, it's also about travel and things of that nature. It's a very optimistic house, okay? It's a house of Jupiter, okay? It's a house of Sagittarius. So, yes, this new moon will fall in your night house. The sun is also in your night house. The sun is currently in Pisces, so it's Pisces time to celebrate their birthday. Okay, and the way we count houses in astrology is you count yourself, your sun sign, or if you want, you can use your moon sign. Okay, but we'll start with a sun sign as your first house, counterclockwise until you see Pisces and you'll see number nine. And that means it's your ninth house, a spiritual belief, again, religion, and things of that nature. And so I will do a reading for you, and, and this is a very special reading because, of course, you know. Uh, cancers beat with beat with the you know um, the the cycle of the moon. Cancers are governed by the moon. They represent the moon, but the moon also feels exalted in Taurus. Okay, this is where the moon feel um, like like I said the exalted exaltation position and the house position. Like for example, Cancers belongs to the moon and it's exalted in Taurus, well, the house is where we feel the more comfortable, right? Cancers is the moon, that's where we feel the most comfortable. And then the hotel room will be the exaltation. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be at home personally than in a hotel. I don't mind going on a hotel if I'm on vacation, but after that, I can't wait to go home. But that's just to give you... Um, <clears throat> An interpretation of the moon ex exaltation is very important for cancers because, like I said, you need to know why the planet that governs you feels exalted in Taurus, and this is why. So for this reading, I'm going to use this deck by Morgan Greer. I also want to do something differently. I, th I think I told you, you guys, this year I'm doing a lot of things differently. I will pull also a card from the Oracle deck, Wisdom of, of the House of Night. And this is by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. And then I will pull one card uh, from the Archetype Cards by Carolyn Miss. Okay. And so for this reading, yes, I will pull this. I will pull two cards from this spread and this spread, this deck, I'm sorry. It's by Morgan Greer. And I will also read the reverse. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Okay. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. Yes, the lovers, of course. I mean, you know what it is? I was explaining to you, Cancers, the exaltation process. The best thing I would suggest for you, my Cancer, especially when you're going through something, is to follow the moon. Um, Transit, and you could just type on, on uh, Google current planet positions and you'll see. Um, so yes, um, the night house is a beautiful house. It's a house that belongs to Sagittarius. And I was telling you, the moon is what governs your sign, okay? And now it's it's currently in Pisces, so it's, it's the night house. If you count yourself as, you know, the first house, and then you go counterclockwise until you see Pisces, you'll see number nine. Okay. So, um, as I was saying is, the funny thing is, Sagittarius is the governor of the ninth house. And you, I mean, Sagittarius ruler Jupiter is exalted in your sign, in cancers. I know I'm going a lot about a lot into astrology and you guys you're going to get much more very soon. Uh, but this is a very auspicious time. You're protected by, like, this whole period for you, it's all about love. And we need you now, Cancers. We need you to really apply this understanding 
uh, unconditional love, maternal love, uh, this love that doesn't judge anybody, this love that is able to deeply understand somebody's pain. And, but also this love that is about, you know, this pure, you know, connection with someone else. Same sex, um, men or women, you know, this sensuality that we find. And because the thing is, cancers is, is, represent the four house. It's the origin, okay? It's our origin. So it's a very deep house. It's a water house. But the, the deepest thing with that is cancers, they like to be, <laughs> some of them like to be naked. You know, when they make love or uh, when they get intimate, they like to be naked because it's the origin of ourself, just like this picture, right? The origin, how we came out in this world, we came out with nothing, right? But naked, as we say. So cancer have this deep understanding of, origin of foundation of heartbeat is it's really but then again it's still close to the shore right so it's not it's not as deep as scorpio so it's able to have this deep understanding because to understand something you can't really always be emotional right you have to have a certain logic of things especially of human life and i think that for the next 30 days some of my um some of my uh, cancers will be feeling this this great desire for themselves of uh, putting themselves out for them that for, for those that are single uh, in a way where you're like feeling inhibited okay because love is so pure when you feel that comfortable you know when uh, or it could also be in your career because we have Venus and um, Mars in Aries in your 10th house I mean, the love is coming from everywhere right now, Cancers. The love is coming from everywhere. Um, the lovers is a major arcana. It represents love, for sure, definitely. Love as in, like, karmic relationship, you know? That type of love, you know, that is just, like, uh, it goes beyond the physical world, okay? But also, it, it represents Gemini on the astrological belt, so it could be also about binding... Uh, agreement, businesses, you know, like, uh, or uh, property, or you're, you, you know, joining an alliance for something, or you, you know, joining someone else, or you adding someone else, or you being at this, this connection also that could be happening. But next to the Ace of Cups, I do feel that it's about love. But if it's about business or things like that, it is definitely fertile time for you. Uh, it is time for you to to really spread yourself as much as, as you can because that's Pisces energy, right? It's all about, you know, floating and taking all the energy and saying yes to everything, everything and enjoying everything that life has to offer. Very happy for you, my Cancers. You deserve it. And I'm going to take now a card from the um, Wisdom of the Night Oracle card. By PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. The information on on the deck about the deck will be below the video for you guys. And so let's see what Spirit has to say for you, my Cancers. And I will take the booklet to read um, the message from the card because it's a new deck for myself as well. And it it works like that. You have to read the message. Oh, number forty. Look at this beauty. You know what? If it's love, I'm so happy for you. Enjoy. You deserve it, my cancers. It's been rough, but you know what? When you have standard for yourself and you know your worth, you know your value, then the universe responds the same way. So beauty, number 40. Such a beautiful card. First time I pulled this card. Beauty. Let's see what it says. Um, here for you, my cancers, it says, every rose has its thorns, and the symbol of beauty reminds you that beauty is never perfect. Just as the beautiful experiences, you will not be perfect forever. Okay, wait, no, I'm sorry. Just as the beautiful experiences you have will not be perfect forever. 
So basically, it's telling you to like touch the ground. Touch the ground because you're going to fly high. If you're not flying high now, you'll fly high soon. Trust your timing. And it really is your time. I'm going to take now one card from the archetype cards. From Carolyn Miss. And see what message spirit has to say for you, my beautiful cancers. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna take this one right here. Let's see what it says. It says priest, priest. This is. Beautiful car, right? I love the picture. Priest. The light attributes of the card says, facilitate spiritual commitments, serve as channel of spiritual energy. Exactly like I was saying, love is spiritual energy. That's the divine energy. And that's the feminine energy. Cancer is a feminine house. It's a feminine sign. And then the shadow attribute says, Violate the trust of your spiritual community, seduced by your own spiritual role. You're going to be spending a lot of time in your head. So try to make sure that you have people that are close to you, that, that know you for a while, the people that you trust, your family, or close friends that are like your family. Try to make sure you have some, some earth around you right now because, like I said, there's so much... So much uh, water, you know, and you want things grow, you know, you don't want to stay, like, even if you're not, you know, in the deep water, there's a lot of work I feel for you to do right now, but I think it's all about you enjoying yourself, your time, enjoying the love that you're receiving, very happy for you, my cancer, I'm going to end this reading here, let me know how this resonated with you, leave me comments, until next time, send you lots of kisses, I love you.